I always start by spreading the toes because you don't want to tape them tight. Okay. So then it starts on top. Then you wrap underneath once. Always the middle ones here. First, doing. make okay. sure you've still got that spacing. Okay. And then it wraps this way. You want to make sure your toenails are out. Okay. And then it goes under the bottom. And are you catching the big pad or no? No, you no. don't want to tape the big over the big pad. So then I wrap it up like this. Mm -hmm. You're still up over the big pad. Oh, okay. Because you want them to be able, their foot to still function yeah. properly, where this is separated from the big pad. Totally, yeah. Okay. If you're taping for dry conditions, it's different than you're covering the pad, but it's a different taping. Okay. This and then I wrap it one more time around the outside. And you're just doing it loose here. You're not yeah. doing it tight yeah. at all. So you can see she can still spread her toes. Yeah. Good girl. Good job. So I'll do the other one. Wow. And then that's enough just to kind of keep them from getting yep. caught? Is yep. that the whole thing? It stops. If they have a ligament that's loose, it stops it from pulling it out too far and that's exactly what she did so again spreading the toes out I do it with my fingers underneath okay. she's doing she's she's easy to tape by the way for never having this done <laughs> sometimes they fight with me okay well good I'm glad you're being a good example too the only other thing you got to watch is if she's gonna be added in the car oh she bites on it and yeah. stuff okay. so again it's keeping it behind okay, behind the pad and then above the pad yeah and to keep it behind the pad, I do push it with my fingers a little. Okay. <laughs> and then let's just see what it looks like in this one. So just totally the pad's open. Yeah. All right.